Écoutez, à midi. Quelle heure est-il Il est midi. C'est l'heure de déjeuner. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a à manger Des saucisses, sans doute. Écoutez et répétez. À midi, à midi. À midi. Hi guys, I'm Beth from Studio Name. Um, and today I'm going to do some leaf printing. I'm just going to sit around here and drink my coffee with you while I wait for some people to arrive. I hope everyone's enjoying this lovely sunny Saturday morning. Um, I am obviously in my kitchen. Decided not to go in the garden today. It's, uh, it's too bright. I'll be squinting all the time. I know it's too wet, it's too bright, I can't make up my mind. Oh, I can see a couple of people are here. Uh, we're doing leaf printing today, guys. Um, you'll need lots of leaves, so if you've uh, not got some gathered, get it to your garden, get some leaves. So I can show you some of the leaves that I've got. I've got these lovely, um, I think it's sycamore leaves. Um, they've got a lovely vein structure. That's what you want in your leaves. You want all these beautiful ridges on the underside because that's what we're going to use to print. Um, what else did I get? Went on a lovely little walk last night and picked up some exciting leaves that aren't in my garden. Oh, hi, Emma. Hi, Teresa. Ah, oh, got some people I know coming. That's nice. Uh, got an oak leaf here again it's got a nice vein structure you want to avoid leaves that are too smooth so some leaves they've got good looking veins like ivy leaves look great when you look at them in the natural world but if you feel them they haven't actually got that many veins on them that you can use to print so just look for those leaves that have lots of veins like this one you can see it's got nice ridges, lots of ridges, regular ridges. Um, what else have I got? got some uh, buddleia leaves. Uh, we've got buddleias growing everywhere, so that's a nice, nice ridgy leaf you can use. Uh, but don't be afraid to try some things that are a bit more exciting, see what happens. Got some fern as well. Yeah, gonna give these guys a go. I think it'll be a different kind of effect, but it'll look look really nice as well. Um, one thing I would watch out for is, you know how some leaves are kind of furry? I mean, ferns are a little bit, but it's not too bad, but you know how like um, with brambles and stuff, the leaves have kind of like a fuzz on them. Well, that just acts like a sponge for your paint or your ink or whatever you're using. And um, it doesn't give you a very nice print. It's just kind of like a splat. So I'd avoid those. So those are just some of the leaves we're using today. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you that I've made. Um, so if you've done printing before, you might have used a printing roller, which is like a rubber roller with a handle. And they're really useful for stuff like this. And I can't find mine. Um, I think it's locked away at my studio. So I have got a tin of chopped tomatoes which you probably have a tin can. And then I've just used a little bit of this packaging kind of foamy stuff that you I maybe got in the post. Um, well, I definitely got in the post. Um, you might be able to use something like this. You could use some fabric. You could use maybe even just some paper, anything to give it a little bit of a cushion. And then you just wrap it around your tin. Oh, you made paper leaves. That's a great idea. That's a really good idea. I'm sorry you couldn't get out of your house. That must be, be driving you nuts. Um, I'm very lucky to have a garden that has a few leaves in it. Um, so yeah, this one's a bit small for this can, but you can make like your own printing roller with some of this foam and a tin can. That works quite well. Or, I mean, we can try just using the can on its own. The foam's just like an extra bonus. The can on its own will probably work. Or you don't need the can at all. You can just use your hands. I'll show you how to do all of these things. 
Um, so, some I made earlier. Leaf printing is a really great activity because it's something you can do. I think, I think you can enjoy it at all ages. Like, I personally really enjoy it, enjoy working it into my art. Um, but obviously it's a great activity to do with kids. Even really little kids can enjoy painting a leaf, sticking it on their face, get a leaf print. Everyone, it's good for everyone. So this is something that I made earlier. And if you can see, it's meant to look like a anatomical heart with little leaves growing out of it. And I actually, I use leaf printing to do all the veins on the heart. And then I've used leaf printing to do these leaves coming out of the top. So that's quite a creative way to use leaves. So if you can think of things that leaves look like, then you can make really beautiful bits of art. And we'll probably do some of those today because you know, it's the kind of thing I like to do. Uh, but then also um, something we're also going to have a go at. This is the first thing we're going to start off with is just making a really simple greetings card like that with just a really nice leaf print on it. A really easy way to make something quite pretty. Um, so to do your simple leaf print like this, I think I'm going to start off with a bit of a camera close up because if we start off by the, with the technique then we can move on to getting a bit more creative okay down 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 we go right there we are a bit more of a close-up of my workspace don't have to look at my face anymore so, just find a nice bit of paper. Here we are. Some lovely blue paper. Uh, what leaf shall I go with this time? Let's choose a nice one. Yeah, I'm gonna do a sycamore leaf again because I just, I just think they're beautiful with a little five fingers or I guess six, isn't it? Six fingers. Um, so this is acrylic paint I'm using. You can use any paint you want. Acrylic paint's great for explaining because it just takes a little bit longer to dry than poster paint. So um, works a bit better. But uh, I'm gonna use some poster paint later because it dries quickly. So whatever you, you've got really, just make do. Um, right, so get some gold paint on my paintbrush. I'm gonna do a gold leaf this time. I'm gonna start off by painting it on. And you don't wanna paint it on too thick and it's really useful to have something to paint on too. So I'm using just a plate, but if you've not got a plate, just any bit of card, old flyers, bit of newspaper, because you see you wanna paint around all the edges and paint over the edges. You wanna make sure the paint's not on too thick anywhere. If you wanna get a really nice quality print, you don't wanna end up with splodgy. So let's put my plate back over there. And I'm gonna put my leaf down on my paper. I'm just going to, so if you haven't got a roller to work with, you can just use your finger and just press your leaf down. Um, if you have got like a cloth or something, another way to do it is just to cover your leaf with a cloth get your tin of beans and roll that over the leaf. That works quite nicely. Should get a nice print from that. Make sure you've rolled all the different bits. Take the cloth away and then peel your leaf up. So you see, you've got a really, got the print there with all the different ridges and bumps on it. So you start to get the idea of how we might leaf print. So I'm going to leave this one to dry and I'm also going to hold on to that leaf because I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I might do a double leaf print there. I might do some black over the gold and get a bit of a two-tone effect. So let's try with different paint now. Let's try with a poster paint, see what the different effect is. 
So I think I'm gonna go with the green for the poster paint. I know, original, right? Who'd do a green leaf? Who'd have thought it? Really out there. I'm gonna do a mix of two greens though, because I am an artist. I can do crazy things like that. Right, so poster paint is actually quite nice to use, but it does dry really quickly. So just be aware of that when you're working with it. And actually it drying really quickly can be a real bonus when doing stuff like this, but obviously generally in art, something that dries a little bit slower makes for a better, better project. Right, so. I've got my card. Can, can you see all right? Can everyone see what I'm doing here? Is the camera close enough? I can do a more, a closer up if you like. So I'm just going to paint my leaf. Again, you wanna be careful not to get too many splodges of paint. Get the paint nice and evenly spread everywhere. There we go. Okay, so then just pop your leaf down and if you made a foam can roller you can just use that do, 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 do. or if you've got a printing roller great or like we were talking about earlier just using your bit of fabric and your regular tin actually think that works pretty well um, or if you haven't got either, you can just use your fingers. And then you just peel off your leaf. Oh, that looks lovely. Got a really nice leafy print there. So because it's poster paint, it should dry real quick. So again, I'm going to pop that to one side and come back to it because you can really work into your print. So like I did with this one, I've actually like printed multiple leaves on top of each other to get a layered effect. So I'm thinking that I'm going to make a piece of art with you now. I want you guys at home to get inspired. You can do what I'm doing if you want, that's totally fine. But if you can think of something else that you wanna do, then, then please do that. There's all kinds of great imagery you can do. So you could do like a tree and then add leaf prints into its branches to get all the foliage. That looks great. You could do a bird and use the leaves to make its feathers. I think personally I'd love to have a go at that one and I'm definitely going to do that one myself but I'm thinking on camera it might look better if I don't do all, all I mean it doesn't have to be an all black bird but um but I think I would do an all black bird so I'm going to probably do that one myself later I'm going to do a green man because obviously green green men have faces made of leaves so I'm going to make up a face out of leaves so you're welcome to join me in doing a green man if you want or whatever you want Love to see a photo of some of your leaf art. If you do some leaf printing later and make something beautiful, please, please send me a photo. Share, share, share. Okay, right, so. Gonna start off by getting my paints ready that I'm gonna use for my green man. Get a little bit of dark green. I'll get, I'm gonna use poster paints and then maybe some acrylic over the top. But like I said, you can use whatever paint you want. Louisa, please send us over um, photos of what you'd make later. Anything, honestly. I just, I just want to see that I'm encouraging some people to make some art. <laughs> you need some blood.
black. He's some brown in my green man. Do, do, do. What other colors go in? Leaves, bit of yellow. What color next? A bit of red. Mm, lovely sound effects coming out of these paint bottles, aren't there? Really nice. Just what you want to hear on a Saturday morning. My paint's farting at you. A little bit of purple. Controversial. Let's see what else. Maybe a bit of white. Okay. So I'm going to start off by just... Um, well, I'm going to start off by getting a jar of water. You always forget something, right? You can't remember it all. Uh, yes, the video is going to, yes, Anna, uh, the video is going to stay up so you can rewatch it at any point. It's going to just be on our website forever. So, yes, please check back in and watch this video later. It's, um, I know, especially busy households, Saturday morning, it can be quite hard to tune into a live workshop. It is nice when you get the opportunity because, you, you know, you're making something at the same time as someone else. You know, it's all happening there for you. But obviously, if you... If you're not able to watch now, do watch later. Right, so I'm going to start off. I'm going to start off by painting, just doing a wash behind so that there's like a nice bit of shading and some, um, some green highlights before I add my leaves. Um, I also, uh, Anna, I just wanted to tell you that we've got loads of stuff on our YouTube channel. There's loads of different art workshops on there. So please check those out because you can watch them at any point. Uh, and that obviously goes for everyone else as well if anyone else wants to fancy doing some more art. So I'm going to use a bit of, let me show you the colors I'm working with. Mixing together a pale green. And this is poster paint, so it dries really nice and quick so I can be quite impatient with it. Um, I know I should be doing this upside down so you guys can really see what, um, what I'm doing, but um, I think my brain might explode, so you're gonna have to just work with me. I'll give you lots of, um, or maybe I'll do the leaf printing upside down, but this first bit I'm going to do right way up, so, so obviously I can see what I'm doing. So I'm just adding in a bit of background color in my lovely poster paint. I think post paints are actually really undervalued in the art world. They're really quite nice to work with. Get quite a good effect with them. Kind of a bit chalky. Looks a bit chalky. Quite like that. So I'm just doing the contouring now of a face for my green man. before I start adding my leaf prints over the top. Good, I'm glad I've still got some people watching. I thought when I said you could watch this video later, everyone was gonna leave. You'd all think, oh, well, it's sunny now. Won't be sunny later. Go out in the garden. Sorry, I'm probably encouraging you all to leave again. Please stay, watch me, watch me. Otherwise, I'll give up. I feel I'm so it's so nice that people do want to watch these videos it really encourages me to keep making them okay so we've got some shadow for his eyes there so you see just doing the contouring on my face for the green man and then I'm going to add my leaf prints over the top Anna says, Brill, she's just thanking me for letting her know about our YouTube channel, which um, I'm sure you all know about, but we have got a YouTube channel with loads of our activities on there. There's some really great stuff from the artists at Studio Name. 
um, it, and like talks on arts and there's all sorts. So please check that out. And also um, DMU is launching its um, Saturday morning art clubs online. Uh, that's this Saturday. I think it's, it happened at 10 o'clock today. Um, but I imagine that will be staying live as well. So just please do go and check that out because it's with the incredible John Joe, who is such a creative man. It really, I know it will be a super fun video, really great project. So it's definitely worth taking a look at that. Um, so you see, I've got some very basic contouring here. Oh, cloth balls. Um, well, Sarah, I've actually done a video already where you can make a cloth ball on the YouTube channel. I don't know if you've seen that. Um, if you have seen the YouTube one and you were hoping for a live one, what I might do, because obviously the one on the YouTube channel is there, but I could maybe do like a cloth bowl one but like we could uh we could mix it up and do something a bit a bit different maybe make something else out of cloth because it's a great technique like like a super tough version of paper mache using cloth instead of paper and you can you can do all sorts with it really we could we could make masks or hats or something that'd be fun i'd enjoy doing that Okay, nearly finished contouring my face. And you can see, because it's poster paint and it's lovely and fast drying, it's so many, pretty much dry already. So I'm just gonna add, so backgrounds are so important when you're doing art and it is something I struggle with. I just wanna get stuck in. I just wanna do my, whatever it is straight away. I wanna do my leaf printing, I wanna do, my like my feature piece. I just want to jump in there and do that first. But actually, doing a background can really be the difference between like a piece of piece of art you can be proud of and want to put on your wall, and a piece of art that you're just not so sure is worth the time and effort it took you. And that's a lesson that I have learnt the hard way over the years and something I'm just going to share with you for free. You're welcome. Oh, you did see the, the pre-recorded video. Have you had a go yet? It is so much fun. Loads of PVA glue, loads of scrap fabric. But yeah, I could definitely do a live video doing some PVA fabric modelling. Where's everyone watching from today? Give us a give us a shout out if you're in Leicester. Is anyone watching from Leicester? Nearly finished my background, so please bear with me. Honestly, you'll be pleased I went to all this effort when you see the finished piece. Well, you might be. I don't know how this is going to turn out. It's the risk of making live art on camera. You're really exposing yourself. If you mess it up, then, you know, that's it. Everyone knows you're a fraud. Okay, so here is my green man face. Do, 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 do. Scary, right? Oh, Clarendon Park. Woo, me too. I'm in Clarendon Park, also in Leicester. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you guys are local. I was wondering who watched these videos. Okay, so just going to give this a minute to dry. So... Like I said, it'll dry really quickly, but still does need to dry. So I'll just put my green man face over there. And now I'm going to take a bit of time to plan my leaves. So 
part of leaf printing is great. It can be really spontaneous, especially if you're using quick drying paints. But for what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay out my leaves and get like, try and get them nice and symmetrical and make a bit of a pattern for a face. Oh, and Emma's in Leicester as well. Oh, that's great. It's so nice, you know, you go on the internet and you could be talking to people from all around the world. South Wigston, got lots of friends in South Wigston. Um, but actually it's really helping like local communities stay together, isn't it? Okay, so let's see what we've got for my green man face. So oak leaves, I mean, I think if anyone knows anything about the green man, they know he's quite into oak leaves quite often portrayed as just being made out of oak leaves. I'm going to take a slightly more creative approach. I'm going to go in with a lot of different leaves, but I did get these lovely oak leaves and I am excited about using them. So I'm going to, going to use a few oak leaves. But you could really be doing anything with your leaf printing. You could be making rainbows. That'd be quite nice. If we've got a bit of time after doing the green man, I might do a quick rainbow. I think that'd be fun. Um, I am just, Thoroughly enjoying the uh, the fact that there's rainbows everywhere at the moment. Like, I know obviously the reasons aren't the happiest, but I do love a rainbow. I've always have. Okay, so. Just planning out my face here. I'm starting with like a border of oak leaves. So I think you get the idea. And then I think I'm gonna do him like a sycamore leaf beard. So I'm just, the next question I'm gonna ask is anyone who's watching been um, along to any of our studio name kids workshops, the, uh, the Saturday morning art clubs. Obviously, if you haven't got kids, then you might not have been able to attend. But I was just wondering if we've got any, any Saturday morning clubbers watching. Alright, so I'm just building up. His beard here. There we go. Got a nice leafy beard. Right, so now I've got to find a leaf that looks like a nose. But luckily, I've got some of these in the garden earlier. Look at that. Look at these leaves. These are great. They've got lots of really nice, juicy veins on them. a good one for the nose so I don't know if you saw my poster for this event but I was trying to give you guys a little hint when I laid out all those leaves that I was doing a bit of a green man theme do a little bit of a a leaf leaf man Oh, Sarah's been along. She's come to the uh, Saturday morning art clubs. They're really great. If you've got kids, I can really recommend them. We get loads of great artists in and we do loads of great projects. Uh, they happen in various locations in Leicester. We've got one at Studio Name. Um, obviously, none of them are happening at the moment. Oh, hi, John Joe. Thanks for joining us. I was just telling them all about your wonderful video that you've just done for De Montfort that went live this morning. I don't know, John Joe, if you want to post a link in the comments here to that, I'm sure people would be interested in seeing it.
Do, do, do. So I'm making my green man face. I think you can all see what I'm up to. Oh, I should turn this around so you guys can see properly. We've got his nose, we've got a beard. I'll move my coffee cup out your way. Well, I'm hearing a lot of love for those fabric balls today. Thank you, everyone. They are really, really satisfying to make. I've, I've got to admit, I, they are one of my favorite uh, craft workshops I do. Really relaxing. Oh, I'm gonna give him big, bushy eyebrows. If you uh, see me lean in and, um, and stop doing what I'm doing for a minute, it's just because I'm trying to read comments. I'm a little bit short-sighted. But I uh, don't get along with glasses, so I just sort of squint at the camera instead. What shall I use for his eyes? Oh, here we go. I'm going to use some... Um, I'm use some eyes. And I might come back and work into the eyes more so we get a get more eye like. Okay, we're sort of seeing seeing our man arriving on the paper. Maybe just need something for his lips and then I'm gonna get started on the printing. Maybe another one of these. Here we go, that'll do for a mouth. Okay, so there's my leafy man. And I'm going to put the leaves here. Do, 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 do. And then I'm gonna put my contoured paper here. So hopefully, yeah, I think you're gonna be able to see what I'm doing all right. Do say if you'd like more of a close-up but hopefully you're not watching what I'm doing too much you're getting on with your own work I, I do hope you're getting on with your own work obviously I'm not going to tell anyone off if you just want to sit back and relax and watch someone else make some art that's fine so immediately I'm gonna change my mind and instead of using that leaf there for a nose I'm gonna use an oak leaf for a nose it's a good start isn't it made this lovely plan and I'm already ignoring it. But you've got to be creative, you've got to keep it creative. You're the artist, you want to change what you're doing. No one's, no one's coming, change it, do whatever you want. No one, no one can tell you you're doing this wrong because it's your art, your rules, you do what you want to do. Okay. So I'm gonna mix a slightly darker brown, uh, darker brown, darker green, put a bit of brown in it. Oh yeah, nice. That nose has to be quite a strong color because it's got to, got to jump out. Uh, I'm gonna paint my leaf with my nice darker brown. What I really like is when you paint the leaf, and the color is such a good match that you can only just tell you've painted it. It's nice, it's a nice effect that. Right, so let's put the leaf down on the nose. And we're gonna do the rollering now. So you can just use your fingers if all you've got is fingers. You can use a bit of fabric over the leaf and then get your bean can and just roll that on. Take it away, pull your leaf up, and we've got our first leaf print on the nose. So let's show you what that looks like. And now I'm gonna keep going. Oh, 
gonna mix the colors up a bit. I'm gonna go for like a yellowy green now. So I hope whatever you're doing, you're mixing your colors. Like the pre-made colors that come out of the bottle are never as nice as the colors you guys can mix. Like I know for a fact that they will not be as nice as the colors you mix. So like always try and mix your colors, guys. That's a little tip that is something else that really can make your art make look a little bit more professional using mixed colors. These leaves have a bit of a spring to them, making it all the more challenging, but that's okay. We like a challenge. You don't have to use a roller, remember, you can just use your fingers. Don't worry as well, if your leaves turn out the wrong color, if they're too pale, too dark, we need to wait till they dry and then we can print over them and it'll look great. It'll build up more layers to your image. It'll really make it look nice. So I'm gonna use that same yellowy green, but I'm gonna add a bit more brown and a bit more dark green in this time. So we're getting like a similar shade, but just a little bit different. Let's paint that on my leaf. Do, do, do. These leaves are annoying to use. I might move to a different leaf. They've really got this, this curl in them, which you almost don't see when you're just looking at them. You think, oh, it's just like a nice veiny leaf. And then you start trying to print with it and you're like, it's all over the place. So this is part of the joy of leaf printing, working with a natural material that's gonna do whatever it wants. And you just have to hope you can uh, can work together and remain friends. Oh, that actually turned out quite well, that leaf print, all is forgiven. Right, I'm gonna have a go at these eyebrows. So I think I'm gonna go for quite a dark color for the eyebrows. So I'm thinking, I'm just gonna to mix together. I'm gonna to use some of the purple and mix that with the dark green. So when you're mixing a darker colour like purple that you just really want a tint of, just take a really little bit on your brush and add it to the colour that you want to add it to because otherwise you're just going to end up with a purple still. It won't really change it. Yeah, that's quite nice. A little bit more purple, I think. Do, do, do. Okay. So getting a bit experimental with the old uh, fern leaf, but I think it'll look great. So I'm confident that I can do this on live video and not make a complete fool of myself. Let's paint it up. Do, 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 do. And then, so it's really important with these uh, facial features that you get your leaf in the right place. A bit of fabric over and get the bean can roller on it. And just make sure to get that nice and printed. And then take it off. And you see, we've got our first eyebrow on our green man. So you might be looking at this thinking, doesn't look like very much at the moment. And that is true, it's really simple at the moment. But as we keep working on it and keep building it up, it's going to start to look really great, hope, hopefully. <laughs> That's the plan. If it doesn't, I apologise and I can only say I'm sure the one you're making at home is going to look amazing. And you better send me some photos of it so I can know that some, some, some beautiful art came out of this workshop, even if it wasn't mine. So let's put on the other eyebrow. He's got some uh, big bushy lockdown eyebrows going on. I don't know about you guys, but I've just embraced it. I've embraced my uh, lockdown eyebrows. I'm enjoying them. I mean, I'm making out like I did anything different before lockdown. Okay, so let's roll that out. Get a nice print. Eyebrows, eyebrows, eyebrows. 
So I'm actually, I'm gonna build the eyes up. So I'm gonna start off with a much bigger leaf to sort of create the eye cavity, as you will. And I'm gonna go for a, almost not a green at all. I'm just gonna use a brown on it. Well, maybe with a slight tinge of green. Remember when you're painting your leaves, you don't want to get the paint too thick, just a nice thin coating everywhere. So if you're into your mythology, you'll know that the beginning of May is, a, well, it's the time of the green man, really. So that's kind of where my inspiration today has come for making a green man. And green men are like, they are all over the place. They're obviously quite big in um, pagan culture, but, um, but you find them in churches and stonework. It's very very popular image that spring up all over the place like in my kitchen on this piece of paper you're just springing up this spring <laughs> so you can reuse so i'm just reusing the same leaf here so i'm going to get hopefully a pretty identical print from it um, you can of course do that you see as we start to add leaves on we're getting more and more depth to our image which was the hope the dream if you will oh, I think I need a clean brush I've got paint on all my brushes Oh, I'm really enjoying making these leaf printing images. I've, uh, it's just a nice way. I like, I like being creative, I like painting, I like drawing, but I just like to take what I wanna draw or paint and put it through a process like leaf printing. Because I, I love that bit that happens in between what you want to do, what you say, what you've got in your mind, you, your idea for something, and then when you actually put it through a creative process like like leaf printing or making a mosaic and and you kind of start to compromise what you originally thought you were making and it just it's a really nice nice process i think when you sort of work on something and it, it becomes something else oh thanks emma thank you so much uh, Emma, do you mind if we share those on the studio name page? Just let me know in the comments if that's okay. Yes, I've got some pictures of your art. That's exciting. Well, I hope they're pictures of your art. I assume they are. You know, when I first started this video this morning, I was thinking, well, actually, it's happened every time. I thought, oh, an hour's a really long time. I'm just going to be having to chat away to myself for a whole hour and, and make my bit of art. And what will I, will I have enough time? And, oh, and then it just all flies by. And I'm like, oh, 
It's over. I miss it. <laughs> so, uh, you know, seems to be the story of life, really. Doing my oak leaves round the edge. Oh, yes. Yes, I think this is going to be okay. I mean, still quite early stages, but I think when I'm finished, I might be happy with it. For you young artists out there who might be watching this, I just want to say that if you think it's not working and you don't like it, please keep going because with art, more is always more. So if you don't like it, do some more leaf printing on top of the leaf printing you've already done. Like just, just keep going and it will, it will magically get better. Like can't really go wrong with that, with that theory. Just the more you do, the better it's going to get. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying watching, Teresa. Thank you for watching. It is a nice way to spend an hour, isn't it? Just doing a bit of art, watching a bit of art, talking about a bit of art. Also, when I first started doing these videos, I thought, how am I just going to talk to the camera for a whole hour? And then I realised that I am just obviously really good at talking to myself. Um, lots of practice, I guess. You know, that's what happens when you're a self-employed artist. You work alone quite a lot. So um, you really get those conversational skills going on your own. Okay, so I've finished my, my forehead and my eyes and I think I'm gonna move on to his beard now. What color for his beard? Hmm, I think I'm gonna give his beard like a, like a sort of reddy green color so I'm trying to make it a bit different. It stands out from the rest of him a little bit. only just joining us now please remember this video it stays live so you can watch it anytime anytime so you can go back and start again at the beginning we've been doing leaf printing um, and to make various images I'm working on a green man but you can work on whatever you fancy Hmm, I've made brown there. Well done me. Just clean that brush up. There's some paint already on it. Okay. So I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do for these leaves is maybe a bit different. I'm gonna start off by adding a bit of green paint lower down. And then I'm going to add a bit of a yellow in oh hello hello friend a little bug on here save him from a painty face there we go 
she is all taken care of. So kind of trying to go for a more autumn leaf with the uh, colouring of the beard. Let's go for a bit of brown, a bit of green, a bit of yellow, a bit of red. Hopefully this will look really good. But if it doesn't, then please pretend I didn't do it. Okay. Oh, it's quite faint, but um, I do think it looks nice, so... I'll do that again. Maybe, hmm. I'm gonna change tact. I think I'm going to do his beard in dark colors first, so it sort of stands out. And then I'm going to print over the top of it in lighter colors later. So potentially I won't get this finished in our hour session. And I don't want this video to be super long, so I'll probably finish at 12, but then if you just keep an eye out, I'll try and get a picture posted of the finished piece because I know I'm just going to sit in my kitchen and work on it till it's done. Oh, you found some real leaves. Yes. Oh, you're gonna have so much fun, guys. I would highly recommend this, because like I said, it's great for all ages. You can do as much as you want with it. You can take it really technical and do like a piece of art like I'm working on at the moment, or you can just do really simple single leaf prints. You can do really simple images, like maybe a vase full of leaves or a rainbow of leaves. You could do a bird, which is my next project. I'm going to do a crow, I think. So maybe I'll post some images of that as well when it's finished. Honestly, just, be as have as much fun as it with it as you want to because that's that's the point is is enjoying it having some fun staying sane in these strange strange times we're living in keeping creative creativity is so good for the mind especially when we're not getting the kind of variety we're used to in our day-to-day -day lives. I think being creative is the best thing you can do for your brain. Also, I'd just like to say, if anyone is trying, uh, trying lots of different leaves, I would love to know what leaves you think you get the best prints from. Like, you know, so I can obviously have a go myself. So if you're trying out loads of different leaves, please, 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 please send us some messages saying which are the best leaves to print with. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a beard on him with his eyes. So I'm just going to work on his cheekbones now. 
think I'm just gonna overrun a little bit because I feel like he's, he's nearly done. So I'm just gonna keep going. But uh, the workshop, as it were, is, is, is over now. You've probably learned everything you're going to learn from me. So please get out there, make some art, get busy. Enjoy it, have as much fun with it as you can. That's the important thing. That's always the important thing with art is make sure you enjoy what you're doing. Mouth. A little smile and leave there. It's a nice dark green for the mouth, I think. Bit of brown in it. Oh, no, I don't know. Actually, the brown makes it look like it's part of the beard. It's got a little bit of red in it. And there we go, there's my green man. So I'm actually gonna do a bit more to this because I'm having way too much fun, but I'm gonna finish the video now. Oh, it's actually 12 o'clock, I haven't even run over. That's amazing, isn't it? I got it finished, woohoo. So I'm just gonna keep working on this a bit, but I would love to see photos of whatever you've done. Please send me photos. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Uh, check out our YouTube channel, loads of great videos on there. Um, bye bye!